What's up everyone, Mainly Aki Cards here, and today I'm going to go over a mail day. I ordered a 2019-20 Upper Deck Rookie Box set for $200. Why would anyone do that? Of course, there must be a stipulation, and there is. This box set, uh, yes, it has been broken. Um, there were no autographs in it, um, but the entire set uh, is graded by PSA. Um, there are some 10s in the set, there are some 9s, some 8s, uh, but for $200 at $8 per card, I really couldn't go wrong. And while I don't think, you know, some of these cards will go for much, uh, like if I got 25 to 30 for the Qs, I'd be pretty happy. Um, I do think that some of the cards possess some uh, future value. Uh, and there's also some cards that I think are very underrated. Uh, some players that I think are very underrated. Uh, so you guys have seen the Hughes. Let's get on to card number two. Capo Caco. That's an eight. Like this is something that's probably going to go for like 10 to 15 bucks. And I'm okay with that because I did buy these for $8 each. I don't think you can really beat that. Again, another eight. Nick Suzuki. And these are all rookies, obviously, from the rookie box set. I wouldn't buy this box set otherwise. Uh, Emil Bemstrom, nine. I think he's a little underrated. He's kind of been forgotten about, overshadowed by Texier, for sure. Uh, we've got our first gem in 10, Barrett Hayton. I've got really high hopes for him. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks is that he's uh, playing for the Coyotes, and their market uh, isn't the best, isn't the best for cards. Um, as we've seen in the past. Uh, we've got Mint 9, Kirby Doc. Also, super high hopes for him. I might just hold this one. Again, like, if I could get $25, $30 for this card, I'd be super happy. Um, even if I got $20 for it, I'd be happy. Another Gem Mint 10, Philip Zadina. Super high hopes for him. Um... The cool thing about getting like a gem and 10 out of the set is that right now, the pop report for these, like there may be two to three graded cards each um, total. So a lot of these tens are, you know, one of one, one of two, actually any of the grades are pop one, pop two. I think there's there might be one pop three in here uh, total. Um, but really low pops. I think it's kind of a weird, uh, kind of a weird investment for sure. Uh, a little bit off the beaten path. Nikita Gusev, mint nine. Don't know what's going to happen with him. Adam Fox, near mint, mint eight. This is the only one I'm like, obviously I can't complain for $8 each, but I was just a little bit disappointed that my Foxy boy, my Foxy clean got an eight. Um, I did not submit these myself. I did buy these from AEI on eBay via sports card forum. Uh, Kale Flurry, one of the newest members of the Seattle Kraken. I think right now is a great time to sell your Kale Flurries. Or you can hold your Kale Flurries. It's up to you. Tobias Bjornfall, Gem Mint 10. I think LA is a market that's going to explode very soon. Uh, lots of very undervalued guys on L.A. Um, Quentin Byfield is going to be very interesting to see where his young gun actually settles at price-wise. Uh, Bjorn Fott's super young. Uh, they've got a great goalie up and coming in Cal Peterson. Uh, they've got some great forwards. Taro Hirose, gem mint 10. Detroit, not as high hopes. I'm sorry. I said it. Speaking of high hopes, though, Gem Mint 10, Noah Dobson for the Islanders. Really came alive in the playoffs. Really looked good. Um, if you guys haven't seen the backs of these, this is what they look like. They're super playing cards. They're super playing. And while I don't anticipate any of these cards to uh, skyrocket like the 2005-2006 rookie class box set, I mean, I do still see a lot of value in these cards. Um, Quinn Hughes. Mint 9. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. 
very excited for this guy, Eric Brandstrom. Just has every bit of potential to be a top offensive defenseman in the league. But I guess we'll see what happens. Elvis Merzlikens, mint nine. Not too shabby. A gem mint 10 of another team that's not very good right now. Victor Olofsson. Could be a sleeper pick this year. Could be a sleeper pick. If Buffalo is good, he's going to be a lot of that reason why they're good. Gem mint 10, Carter Verhage. I'm sure nobody really thought Verhage was going to be as good as he is. But this guy has literally won at every single level. Like this guy's just a good player all around every level. Cody Glass, Gem Mint 10. Hopefully this year is his breakout year. I don't want to say that time is running out because it's certainly not. He's very young, but I would have expected a better season from him this past year. Vili Henola. Why'd I say it like that? I don't know. Let's just ignore that. This one's pretty big in my opinion. Rasmus Sandin, Gem Mint 10. He's going to be the future of Toronto. He is really good. Dominique Kubalik, Mint 9. Ryan Paling, Mint 9. Kind of a wild card here. Who knows what's going to really happen with Paling. Gem Mint 10. Jesper Boakfast. Jesper Boakfast? Jesper Boakfast? I don't really know which one it is. Then, finishing it off, I think this is easy, like, <laughs> easy $50, $60 card, no matter what. And it's a Mint 9 Kilma card. There was actually a recent sale of this, and I think it went for over 60, but that was um, during the hype, I guess, a bit more. Um, but yeah, for $200, I don't think I did that badly. $8 per slab, I don't think I can really beat it. Uh, but yeah, just thought this would be a cool mail day video. It's a little bit different, I guess. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, leave a like, leave a comment if you wish, uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, it's free, and you can always change your mind later. Have a great day, guys.